In this video we're going to look at the data handling cycle. So the first stage of the data handling cycle is to consider what the investigation is going to be on, to specify what your hypothesis would be. So for instance, uh, boys will have faster reaction times than girls. Uh, to plan the collection of your data, so that would be stuff like your sample size, so how many people you're going to do in your experiment, uh, or how many people you're going to give the questionnaire to. Um, it could then also be planning what calculations you're going to do, so I'm going to get 10 girls to do a, uh, to a reaction test, 10 boys to do a reaction test, we're going to calculate the mean for the scores, maybe draw a box and whisker diagram, you know, so plan, um, you know, what the experiment's going to be, what calculations you're going to be, and really outlining what you're going to do in your investigation. The next stage, step two, is then to actually collect the data, just to carry out the experiment or do the survey or to collect the primary or secondary uh, data. Uh, so, for instance, if it was on the reaction times, again, um, you might want to make sure, you know, you'd plan to make sure that the... Um, that the experiment's gonna be fair. But actually, whenever you're collecting it, you wanna make sure that uh, you're keeping everything fair um, and that uh, there's gonna be no bias introduced. So stage two is collecting your data. Step three is then to process and represent the data. So that could be calculating the averages, the mean, mode, median, range, or sorry, mean, mode, median. It could be working out the range or the integral to range, that sort of thing. Um, you could also then be representing the data. So that could be drawn bar charts, line graphs, scatter graphs, um, histograms, box and whisker diagrams, <clears throat> all those sorts of things. Okay, uh, calculating the standard deviation for uh, summarizing it. So uh, for um, locating spread or measuring spread and so on. Okay, so that's step three is to do all your calculations. Step four then is actually interpret your results. So to look and see what your results um, indicate. Uh, does it support your hypothesis? To look at your graphs, uh, look at see what they're showing you. Uh, talk about whether they're really supporting the hypothesis. If needs be, okay, uh, step five then would be then to refine the hypothesis and to repeat it, okay. Um, so for instance, you might find whenever you do your calculations that um, there's not much difference between the uh, teenage uh, boys and girls' reaction times, but you might find that there seems to be an indication that um, with adults, men have a faster reaction time than girls. They might, what you might then want to do would be to state a new hypothesis. So adult men have faster reaction times than adult women, and then to repeat the whole thing. Okay, so this is the data handling cycle. So it's um, stating your hypothesis and planning what you're going to do in your investigation. Step two, collect the data. Step three, to then process it and to draw graphs for the data. And step four is then to interpret and discuss your results. And if needs be, repeat the whole thing.